Hi, my name is Sahira, and welcome to my online belly dance studio. Today we're going to be looking at another quintessential belly dance movement called the comma. The comma is a hip drop that creates kind of a rainbow shape, perhaps that's why they call it a comma, a little curved shape on the side. So we're going to begin by building it from the different isolations you need to create the movement. So we're going to be using two different isolations today to create our comma. The first is the unweighted hip lift, which we've looked at in other videos, but let's go ahead and review it here. An unweighted hip lift is done all on one side, and that side has no weight on it, which is why we're calling it unweighted. So let's start with an unweighted right, all our weight is on our left. We're using our oblique to squeeze the hip up and in towards us. That left knee has to remain soft. You want to think about not bouncing in the head. I'm squeezing, releasing, squeezing, releasing. I'm releasing to neutral, not to beneath neutral, but just to neutral. Lift up, down to neutral. Lift up, down to neutral. This is a lift and drop. Lift and drop, lift and drop. Let's try a couple more. Last one here. Great, let's try it on the other side. So weight is now on the right, left foot is there just for balance. You're not really putting any weight into that toe. You're creating all the movement from your oblique. Same thing here. We're squeezing to lift and drop. Squeeze to lift, then just release to drop. Dropping to neutral. You want to be sure that the upper body is uh, released from this. It's nice and lifted. And you want to think about keeping that, in, that engagement in the oblique low enough so that you don't find your upper body contracting towards your side. You want to keep the upper body away from the action. Up and down. Up and down. Lift and drop. One more. Lift and drop. Beautiful. The other movement we're going to be using is a twist. The twist that we're using is completely oblique centered. So I'm using my internal obliques to create a twist in the hip around my center axis. I don't want to use my knees. You'll notice my knees are pointing forward the whole time as opposed to letting the knees go and creating a bigger twist this way. You want to create a nice small twist that's not utilizing the knees whatsoever. It's all in the obliques. Twist and twist. When one hip twists forward, the other twists back because they're connected. Yeah? Twist and twist, twist and twist. Excellent. So let's put those two together to look at our comma. A comma is a form of a drop, so the drop is going to be our accent. We're going to get a drop front and a drop back. We're going to look at this from the side here. So first we're going to do the comma on the right hip. All our weight is on the left. The comma is an unweighted movement, so there's no weight here on the right foot. We're going to contract the hip up twist on it just a little bit to bring that hip slightly forward, drop it there. Contract it back up, bring it back behind you slightly with a twist, and drop. Contract, twist forward, drop. Contract, twist back, drop. Contract, twist forward, drop. Contract, twist back, drop. I'm going to show it to you here from the front. Contract, twist forward, drop. Contract, twist back, drop. You'll notice I'm getting a little bit of movement in my knee but what I want to avoid is a huge opening up. You don't want to open up the knee and cross the knee. You want to think about the knee pointing basically forward, though it is going to get a little bit of an angle change to it, which is totally fine because there's no weight on it. And you'll notice my toe is also twisting ever so slightly on the ground. So don't focus on uh, letting the knee move a lot to create this movement. Think about the movement all coming from here in the obliques. Forward, drop, back, drop. Forward, drop, back, drop. Forward, drop, back, drop, one more, and back. Nice. Let's try it on the other side. Exact same thing. So we're contracting, twisting forward, dropping. Contracting, twisting back, dropping. Contract, twist forward, drop. Contract, twist back, drop. Be sure your weight is all on your back leg and your weight is evenly distributed in your foot. Be careful not to let the weight sneak forward into your toes too much. I actually sit my weight back just a tiny bit to my heel. Forward, drop, back, drop, forward, drop, back, drop, forward, drop, back, drop, forward, drop, back, drop. A few more right here. And last one. So this movement's actually a lot faster when we do it with music. So let's look at the right and left really quickly up to tempo. The downbeat is always the front, and then the back is always the, the other beat. So if we're doing it here on the right, let's go ahead and bring our arms here to this position. It's going to be one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Front and back and front and back and front and back and front and back. Eight more. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, and eight. Let's try it on the left up to tempo, and then we'll do it with music. Five, six, here we go, and front and back, front and back, front and back, front and back. Front and back. Keep breathing, keep the chest lifted, keep the arms lifted. Eight more, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. There is a very common variation of this movement that allows you to release that front foot when you bring your hip to the back. We'll cover that in a later video. If you'd like to go ahead and give it a try, please feel free, but you want to be sure that if you do release that front foot, it's not a kicking motion, it's just a gentle release. For now, I'm gonna drill it with my feet right button underneath me the whole time. So let's go ahead and try it with music. All right, starting on the right, take a nice deep breath. We're going slow, front and back, front and back. Couple more, nice and slow. All right, let's speed it up, here we go. Front and back, front and back, front and back. Eight more, we're going with eight.